Hi everyone, I just wanted to create a quick video to help with wrapping up project four. So hopefully you've got a project created much like this one. And uh, thanks to Taz for letting me borrow his project to do this demonstration video. But uh, what I want to help with today is just the process of rendering out a video from your Reaper session so that you get your original sound design with the pre-existing video. Um, and it's going to be the same render process as before. So one thing uh, to, to check on is do you have audio that's extending beyond the video? So in this one's here, you see how we've got uh, some extra audio beyond there so uh, a little it's a little bit um, one thing you just want to uh, be sure of and make sure you manage uh, because it will extend uh, the video beyond the end of the the video if you if you have some extra audio like that so um, just uh, you can miti mitigate that um, by simply selecting in the timeline the the section where the video is and hopefully your video is the first uh, track up here like this. Uh, but once you've got everything uh, selected in your timeline, you know uh, how much about how much time you have, and all these are roughly 35, 36 seconds. Uh, you can go ahead and go to the file menu, render the same process we used before for audio. Um, and to, uh, one thing to check at the top here: if you do entire project and you have one of those uh, sounds that extends beyond the video, that's what's going to have cr cause you to have extra dead time at the end of your project. So you can either do time selection and select to just that, or you can also use a custom time range and just select from zero to the amount of time that you need to get to the end of your video. Um, De then when you come down to the bottom, you'll see it says primary output format. Uh, this is where instead of previously we've been picking wave, right? Uh, but this time we want video output. And those are down here toward the bottom. Uh, it's going to look a little bit different on a PC. Uh, you should have this FFmpeg option if you're on a PC. But on the Mac, it's this mpeg4 slash mov option. Um, and by default, it's going to try to render a 1080p video. All of these source videos, though, are 720p. Um, if you want to make sure that it stays in, in sync with the size of your video. Uh, this arrow here pointing to the right, if you click on it, it's going to reveal a, a, a drop down uh, menu and you want to get this information from the current video item. When you click on that, you'll see how it updates the, the, the size of the video here for you. Um, and then the final thing to check uh, is just these codecs here. So you want it to say something about MPEG-4 and you look for a .m4v uh, uh, option up here. The other option that works well is if you use QuickTime Movie um, and an MOV. So we want either an MOV or an M4V extension on the file up here where it says Render To. Um, either one of those will work fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select M4V myself. Uh, this should say H264 here. This should say AAC here. Um, optionally, if you want a little bit better quality audio, this 120 eight here should actually be a 256 uh, to get a little bit better quality of your audio. Uh, but once you've done that, you again checking the extension here, checking the MPEG-4 options here, and the uh, size uh, or uh, dimensions of the video here, uh, you're ready to go ahead and hit render. Uh, and when you do that, it's going to, um, oh, right now I had, I've already created this one, so it's going to ask me about overriding it. Um, I'm going to hit that and you'll see that it opens up a new window to show you that it's actually rendering the video. One thing to notice here is if you have some sections that are too loud, you're going to see these red sections in the waveform. Uh, you're also going to see this uh, right here where it says clip and it's going to show you the number of samples that have clipped. Ideally, this would be zero uh, and we wouldn't have any clipped samples. Those clipped samples are going to show up as distortion in the output. So uh, if you're seeing this red, if you're seeing this number of clip being over zero, uh, it's, it's time to make Maybe go back to your mix and lower the level on a few of these segments here just so you don't have uh, distortion in those. Um, I do encourage you when you're done um, to not just save the file and upload it, but uh, use this launch file button here. Uh, that's actually going to open the video for you and you can hit play and play it back. Um, just go through and uh, if, if you don't watch it all the way through, uh, skip through and make sure you don't have any extra dead time at the end um, just to double check things. Uh, but these videos are so short, it shouldn't be uh, take too much time for you to actually just hit play, watch it all the way through, listen it all the way through, and make sure it's uh, exactly what you wanted uh, for your final uh, version of the, the video that you're handing in. Uh, but that's it for rendering out the video from Reaper. Hopefully that helps you out with that process.